That's better. Welcome to another article of Mediocre Man Magazine. I'm your host, Mediocre Man. I've been doing a lot around the house. I've been doing a lot for other people. But I haven't done too many things for myself. And I thought to myself, you know, I deserve it. I'm worth it. I can spend some money on me, you know. I, I can stand up to my wife and I, I can make something for myself and, and all, 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 all the things that I need. And uh, since I've started the Mediocre Man Cave and the Mediocre Man Page and everything that I'm doing with it, I've started to accumulate some things. And I don't like clutter and I really don't like a lot of stuff everywhere. I like everything organized because I've never been accused of being too smart. And once I get too much stuff, I start forgetting where I put it all. So I need to sort of organize some things. And this space right now is a, a place to have a brew. It's a, it's a place to hold some stuff. It's a place to take the garbage out. It's a place to hold in the dog. It's a, it's a place to do some maintenance. But it's kind of all meshing all together. And I, and I have this old snap-on toolbox. I want to kind of take this small toolbox and turn it into a workstation, but I, would, I don't want to do it for too much money. So that's going to be kind of the, the challenge that I'm doing here. So I'm going to try and take a toolbox and turn it into a, a sort of a rolling island cart and it'll hold all my things that I'm doing right now, whether it be camera equipment, painting equipment, tools and all that other junk and kind of make it a, a sort of a universal spot for everything I need right now. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing it. I think I deserve this. So as long as my wife doesn't find out, this should turn out just great. <laughs> that being said, building a custom rolling tool chest. That's better. Okay, so first things first before last things last. I got the toolbox and I've had this toolbox on these rolling casters for a while, but it's kind of useless at this height. It's not a good working desk height. So I want to bring this up to a good like bench top height. So to do that, I need to lift this whole tool chest up 14 inches. So I need to make a frame on the bottom and then I want a nice workbench on top, maybe a little bit bigger than this. The good news about this is this top here kind of opens and closes so I can access more tools. I can have things on top of this. So I want it to hang above, be able to lift it up and access all my tools. So yeah, I got some screws, got some two by fours and all of my DeWalt tools. Not a sponsor, but that would be sweet. Anyways, I guess all I need to do now is start uh, Take these 2x4s and make some 14-inch uh, lengths and uh, sort of stilt this up. Um, yeah, it should turn out pretty good. And I'm actually really excited about this one because I get to be a little bit creative because it's all for me. And if it uh, comes out average, there's nothing wrong with that because I'm not like it's not like anyone else is going to be able to see it. This is all for me. So that being said, wish me luck. Here we go. Alright, so now I got to take my risers, one of these vertical pieces, I'm going to turn these into, screw these together and make four by fours. And then my horizontals, these are what's going to go sideways, it's going to hold up the uh, toolbox itself. Got to screw it all together, make a little frame, maybe cut some custom cross braces and then lift the toolbox on top of it. And then I think I'm thinking of doing a little wooden bench top on top, but man. I'm almost there and I'm looking forward to it. This uh, little scrap project is going pretty quick, pretty smooth. Here we go, wish me luck! Yeah. I nearly just tore myself a new one, getting this toolbox off of this casters. Now I'm just gonna cut this uh, carpeting off. Ooh, actually it's pretty thick. But anyways, I'm gonna get this stuff removed off. I'm gonna go start tearing this off. I just knocked over my beer. And then I'm gonna take these frame pieces here, mount this to the outside of those, 
screw that in, and then probably put some sort of horizontal bracing that way so it doesn't collapse, and put the toolbox back on, and then that's pretty much it. So, uh, once again, look, here we go! I think she did it to me now, so I slipped in love the street. So now that I got this done, I pre-cut a little board for the bottom, so this can act as some storage for bonus storage on the bottom. Screw that on. I got some 3 8 ply or quarter inch ply to go wrap it around here to hold it for some lower storage. Then after that, it's just getting creative. Places to hold my drill, places to hold my stuff, all these little drawers. I'm just making my own, but other than that, that's pretty much it. So, as always, wish me luck. Here we go. this week. Blue Buck by Phillips Brewing. It's actually probably one of the first beers, craft beers, I started drinking. Now I obviously drink a lot of other stuff, but uh, yeah, that's what started the whole the whole shebango. I really like it. It's a holiday go-to, and I guess I'm trying to get into the holiday spirit. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy. I built something for myself. Here it is. It's a little rolly cart. I'm going to fill these up with all the Useless crap I got going around, so hopefully get this mediocre man cave cleaned up the way I want it. Yeah, I'm starting to paint some little panels, make it look a little nicer as the weeks to come. Maybe send some photos out there on the old Instagram. As always, I'm enjoying this little experience. I'm really happy I built something for myself, and now I just hope my wife doesn't find out. <laughs> yeah, other than that, there she goes. Hopefully you all enjoyed what I put together there and you guys can rip off some of the ideas for yourself. And uh, with that being said, this is Mediocre Man Magazine, and I'm Mediocre Man. Cheers!